I thought that I should say a few words as the leading minister of the New Christian Spiritualist Society at this time of worldwide distress. You know, this awful COVID-19 virus that's let loose on the world. First of all, I'd like to send our greetings to all who declare themselves to be spiritualists as a way of life, movement, or as a religious philosophy. The president of arguably the largest organised group of spiritualists, the Spiritualist National Union, Minister David Bruton, spoke today from his home office as he is now uh, self-isolating himself, having been in contact with a member of the church Saturday night, who thereafter was uh, had been in contact with the virus. And he gave a message on behalf of the SNU to all spiritualists, uh, for which on behalf of all of us within the NCSS, uh, we are also quite large now, uh, I thank him. The news for the world isn't very good at the moment. But I have always said that we must look for the blessing in every curse. And where human decency, compassion and care for one's family, friends and neighbours and all the world, the animals and the planet, it's been sadly lacking for such a very long time in all areas of life, both so social and economic. And um, what I... I uh, would say that materialism has reigned supreme um, with all its avariciousness, gluttony and greed. It's brought misery to millions. But there is now a growing resurgence and awareness in many who have usually taken a fairly sort of uh, prosaic view of, of life because it's been quite comfortable for them. Well, Villages, towns and cities have now set up networks and volunteers, all helping others less fit and strong as they are themselves. Government has even promised to release money from national coffers to ease poverty and financial problems across the entire population. And I guess that the foundations of our spiritualist organisation, being on the fens of East Anglia, makes us very mindful of Oliver Cromwell, once Lord Protector of the country and founder of our wonderful Parliament. As a Puritan, I can see him being positively gleeful over what we generally perceive to be draconian measures we have all had to take to prevent this new virus from wiping out large swathes of human race in a Darwinian deluge that leaves only the fittest and the strongest surviving. But I would also remind you at this most trying time for all of us, earth dwellers, that God keeps his promises. We have all had reason to be grateful for the mercies that we've been given over the various years of our lives. And uh, when we look back and see all the good things that have happened for us, even when times have been bad. And similarly, the world has also been delivered from uh, many evils over the millennia. And time and time again, since that promise was first made at the beginning of recorded time itself, we have been delivered from evil. After the deluge, which was actually uh, 2,000 years before the birth of Christ, and 1,656 of the Hebrew calendar, we're now in, uh, we're now in 5780, 5780. Um, God said to Noah, never again will I curse the ground because of humans, when Noah reached the, the dry ground of course, came out of the ark. And God said, never again will I curse the ground because of humans, even though every inclination of the human heart is evil from childhood. And never again will I destroy all living creatures as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, will never cease. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I'm making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I've set my rainbow in the clouds and this will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. 
Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant. The sons of Noah who came out of the ark were Shem, Ham and Japheth. These were the three sons of Noah, and from them came the people who were scattered over the whole earth. There. Yes, we are all one family on this earth, and yes, God keeps his promises. And when Jesus' disciples were worried and frightened, he said this to them, the words that I will repeat to you now, because I think they were so wonderfully uplifting. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Everything will be well in the end. I pray that if you are unwell at the moment or if you are stressed that you receive comfort and healing that you so richly deserve because you are indeed as we all are one of God's children. God bless you. God bless you. Keep you safe.